Ms. Adams, this matter came up in Parliament during your emergency sitting. And it took a rather unfortunate turn of comparison of who has dis de mm -hmm. polluted or destroyed mm -hmm. water bodies the most. Mm -hmm. Was that the best you could do as members of Parliament? Well, thank you for the opportunity and to be here and good morning to our viewers and mm -hmm. to my constituents especially. And I must say that before I get to the sad note, let me comment Madame Lodina Mahama and her foundation for the great job that they have done in providing healthcare services across the country. And the current thing they did was to build an ultra modern maternity uh, uh, ward and children's ward for the people of Nkranza at their polyclinic. And I must salute them for that. Was people in government are engaged in illegal mining and destroying our water bodies and creating all kinds of ailment for us and not building health facility to, to at least even take care of us when we get sick. We have someone who is not in government working so hard to continue to provide healthcare facilities for Ghanaians because I can benefit from such a facility if I happen to be in that area. And so I join many in commending her for what it is that she is doing. Mm. Uh, Alfred, you asked a question in relation to what transpired in Parliament. And many of us on that day were so disappointed. And we all took to our... Uh, uh, we stood up to draw Mr. Speaker's attention that we needed to make a contribution because this is not the parliament I want to be in. This is not the parliament I, I joined and this is not the parliament I read about and this is not what I expect from members of parliament who belong to the ruling party. First and foremost, why is not admitting his statement that that is what it was? It is absolutely wrong to suggest that because someone did something that was wrong, you are right if you also repeated it, but possibly in your mind at the lower level. The issue of polluting waters, especially when you are dealing with turbidity levels, if you say, lawyer Martin Pebu polluted this bottle of water and increased the turbidity level mm -hmm. to say maybe uh, 1,800. The 1,800 <laughs> could still possibly be processed. It may not have done total destruction to the water. Mm -hmm. Then you come and say, Lawyer Martin Pebu added 1,800, and I have just added 1,005. Your 1,005 that you've added have lifted the levels mm -hmm. from 1,800, which was manageable, mm -hmm. to a level that can no longer be managed. Mm -hmm. So maybe you, you may have added less, mm -hmm. but your addition yeah. is what has destroyed, has made this water useless. Yeah. So you have a government, and the chief whip's mindset is that you polluted more than we did. Mm -hmm. But the question is, what we see today, did we see that maybe eight years or nine years ago, did we see this level of destruction? of our forests, of our water bodies? The answer straight away is no. But for me, the argument is not about who did more and who did less, but it is what leadership is yeah. doing. Look, in countries where leadership is working, Alfred, your own tree that you planted in your home if you want to cut it, 
you need the permission of the, the authority mm. to cut your own tree that you planted. Because that tree is counted as part of the contribution to the ecological balance in the area. Mm. And they know the effect of taking down the tree you planted. Mm -hmm. But in Ghana, we have leadership that decides trees they did not plant. Trees that God gave us because they believe that God sleeps in the night. <laughs> that even God sleeps in the night. That's the position mm -hmm. of the, the MPP and its current leadership, according to uh, uh, Dr. Matthew Opoku, that even God who created the, uh, uh, the, 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 the earth for us and everything sleeps in the, in the night mm -hmm. because they believe God sleeps in the night. They decide to destroy what God has mm -hmm. given us. Mm -hmm at the blind side. But you see, you have played the voice of the president about prepare to put his job on the line and that he said so at cabinet meetings before and this mm -hmm. will be, that was the first time he was saying it publicly. Yes. How I wish the president didn't make that statement publicly. Why is that? Because following that statement, mm -hmm. all his appointees and apparatchikis have worked tirelessly to deny the existence of what? Galamsi. Mm -hmm. And that they are destroying our forests and our water bodies because they want to make us believe that the president is still having his job. Mm -hmm. And the president is having his job because there's no Galamsi. Mm -hmm. So even if there was, they are trying to tell you it is not there because if they accept that it's there, the president's job must be on the line. So they have kept denying the fact that they have contributed to destroying our water bodies, destroying our forests. You remember when Professor Frimpong Watson did his report and cited the fact that even the president's own uh, uh, home was under attack yeah. and he had to move some doses and the rest to reclaim and vegetate the area. Well, when, when that statement was made, the president they took am, the media. I'm saying to his house. Well, that's where I'm coming to. That they, is they, that is they, they, they uh, Alfred. That Alfred, if you read the report, he says we took doses, mm -hmm. reclaim and vegetate the place. Mm -hmm. So a place that have been reclaimed mm -hmm. and vegetated. Were you expecting to see? the kind of holes that we see when we go to the normal Galamsey site. Right? Mm -hmm. The man didn't say we went there and sacked the people mm -hmm. and left it at that. Mm -hmm. In the statement, mm -hmm. it is captured that they took doses there, reclaimed and vegetated the place back. Mm -hmm. So if you take the cameras there, you will see mm -hmm. green because they have vegetated the place. Mm -hmm. But that was the evidence mm -hmm. that they used to attack Professor Frimpon but in that he was rather peddling falsehood and that nothing like that was happening. Part of the scheme to protect the president because he's made a public statement that he's prepared to put his job on the line in fighting Galamsi. And since he has failed and stability levels have jumped from the 2000s where they could manage or where their machines are designed to manage mm -hmm. to now over 14,000 NTU. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. And for a chief whip of the ruling party to be on the floor and listening to statements being made by the Ghana Water Company, the Water uh, uh, Resource Commission and many other experts, health persons, about reported cases of persons who live within some catchment area, reporting all manner of ailments. Mm -hmm. What do you come to tell us is that someone polluted more than what you have done. But you see, Alfred. Well, in their defense, they say you started the, that, that I, line of defense on the floor of parliament. And in I worry. NBC. I worry a lot when I hear comments like politicians have failed. It is not like lawyer said, the politician is 
a microcosm mm -hmm. of the general uh, society. It, mm -hmm. The police is not coming from anywhere. It is leadership have failed, and for that matter, Nana Dodanko Akufuado and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia leadership have failed Ghana. Yeah. And let's call them out. Yes. And let's not generalize it that politicians have failed. Because mm -hmm. even if today we put an independent person as uh, uh, maybe a leader somewhere, mm -hmm. if we pick a chief somewhere and put him or her as a leader to play that role, that person could be described as a politician. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it is not about just generalizing and giving them comfort. When we say politicians have failed, we give comfort to this government and their persons who are polluting but if I the waters. Speak, but there is some truth to the fact that politicians have failed. But this. there is truth so, to the there is truth so to the you, fact that listen, there is uh, truth you, to the you, fact that the media in some instances also have collaborated with these persons you are describing as having failed to help in the failure. Mm -hmm. oh, what, there is truth the also money. there is truth also that you have had chiefs mm -hmm. who have collaborated with this group of politicians to also make sure that they have that's why I'm saying that. Let's call them out. We in the NDC and I can speak so for my party mm -hmm. are more than committed. We have a leader who is very committed to the fight against Galamsi. He has demonstrated it in the past and will do so into the future. And so it is the Nanado Baumian leadership that have completely failed us. Look, lands and our natural resources have invested in the president's hands. He is responsible, he is the commander in chief and has every opportunity to use in protecting our lands. And this whole issue of the military getting involved and failing. You see, if you send the military out there mm -hmm. to work and you want to allow them to work, they will give you perfect results. Mm -hmm. But when you send them out there, it's like having a guard dog mm -hmm. that you've trained so well. Then now you decide that you chain the dog and you are holding the chain. If the activity the dog is supposed to work on is happening at 200 meters, <laughs> and your chain can only go as far as 50 meters, that dog cannot perform the function you expect it to perform when it is happening around the 200 meter range. What the government has done is to send these people in there and chain them, and they are holding the chain. So they are controlling how far you can go. So you are not allowed to go into an area to be able to operate. Where you go, you are supposed to go and provide protection mm -hmm. to protect illegal miners. To the extent that you had a senior minister, mm -hmm. and when you are described as senior minister, you are like the prime yeah. uh, minister. You are, you, are, you, you, are, you are the top of all the ministers. To tell us that there was no gain in prosecuting a Galamse campaign and that Ghana stood not to, to gain in, in prosecuting Aisha one because we were looking for something. That was the time Dr. Baumia had gone there that he's done some uh, uh, 18 billion or something, something from China. Where is that money? Yes. <laughs> Where is that? Where phantom, is that money? Phantom. Phantom money. <laughs> and we have destroyed our water bodies that today we, babies are being born with deformities at an alarming rate. People are complaining of all kinds of organ failures. Alfred, for those of us who love greens, it is now more dangerous today to eat greens and to eat fruits from some part of the country. Because you will just be taking huge levels of residue that otherwise should not be in your system into your system. Mm. In the past, you could guarantee that, okay, if it was just insecticides that have been sprayed, at a certain point, these insecticides would, would, would leave yeah. the system and you yeah. can consume those things. Mm -hmm. Today, we are talking about arsenic levels that are so high, that are in the soils that penetrate right from the time you sow mm -hmm. 
-hmm. all through till it matures. So it goes, it becomes part and parcel of the food that you are consuming. So are you surprised that many more persons today are reporting of kidney mm -hmm. situations mm -hmm. and the government on top is failing to provide those services after it has done what it has done. And the worst part is that the gold and whatever other resources that are taken through this illegal process, the nation benefits nil. Because 99% of this gold get exported through illegal means. And so we are losing revenue from the gold that is extracted. Yeah. Our forest is being destroyed. Our water bodies is being destroyed. Our cocoa, the mainstay, mm -hmm. has been destroyed. So today, at the level of 976,000 metric tons that was handed over to this government in 2017 when they took over, mm -hmm. we are struggling to produce 400,000 metric tons of cocoa today mm -hmm. because we have destroyed many of the lands or we have blocked farmers from assessing in the, fact, the I'm going to show you that and cocoa, but we have some... some, some, some graphs to show you what is happening right because the impact of illegal mining yeah. has actually been identified as one of the major reasons why we are having a reduction in the cocoa production exactly um, and yes and, and and we'll show that in a bit and it's quite worrying to say the least because apart from that the farmers themselves mm, are, are, are selling their farmlands to these illegal miners because they ask themselves they say what they are not getting so much from the cocoa. I so would, they would rather sell to illegal miners. Yeah. And uh, we have some of them on video. Yeah. But this is it. In between 2021 and 2022, the production within that crop year was 683,000 metric tons. Yeah. It dropped by 32% between 2022 and 2023 to 654,000 metric tons. And then dropped further 4.2% to 580,000 metric tons between the 2023-2024 crop season that we're seeing. It has been projected to drop by another 11.3% as we speak. Mm. This is when we're coming from a time when we, we had almost a million tons. A mil exactly. And, and, and Alfred, it's not just the tonnage. Oh. The quality of our cocoa is now gradually being rejected. We used to get what we call the premium value. Mm -hmm. Today, we, we are losing that because of high levels of other contaminants that is found in our cocoa. So this government have just come to supervise and to destroy lives. Look, and that is why I argue that it is about leadership. And I agree with the earlier video you played of the former director of Ghana uh, School, of uh, law. School of Law, yeah. that Ghanaians must act together and kick out this government because they have completely failed. Look, more than 80%. But you cannot also claim innocent. You see, it's the politicization of this that has always been there. Masa, you, 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 you it cannot? is not, it is not politicization. You have a situation where mm -hmm. you have a leadership that is in charge. And over the eight year period, the resources of the state have been vested in their hands. Amongst it is to see to it that we have clean water. Because we say water is what? Life. Mm -hmm. That's number one thing. Your body composition is usually water. Without water, all your cells will be, will be dead. They cannot function. So even your body, every living thing has its huge composition being water. If you have a government that have sat aloof and allow this destruction to happen, if you are calling upon them to be voted out, how is this politicization? Do you want us to vote them in, to continue to do what is wrong? Is that what we want? No. Mm -hmm. We want the solution. And if you look at the data, whether it is economic data, whether it is governance data, whether it is media freedom, whether it is uh, investigative freedoms and what have you, somebody at least did better 
than what it is that we are having today. And yes. so you can yes. only recommend that someone who did better yes. than what we have today be given the opportunity, not someone who will come, who is there and is destroying it and going around, dancing and asking that, Mufa Stia no and Mami. <laughs> now we give you the steer and you take us further into the ditch. No, if we speak this way, mm. we should stop saying that it is politicization of the matter. That is the solution because leadership is part of the problem. And so selecting leadership must be part of the conversation. It must be part of the conversation. At least, I may not speak this way if I were speaking in maybe 2021. I will still would have pushed for government to do something. I will not speak this way if I were speaking in 2022. I will push for government to do something. But we are in 2024, few months, three months into an election. We need to help Ghanaians to know that the choices they make have consequences. Mm -hmm. That tomorrow, if you don't make the right choice, mm -hmm. you will not have water to drink. Mm -hmm. Go to some parts in Ashanti region today. There is already a water war mm -hmm. that people are being beaten to pulp because he has gone to take somebody's just bucket of water. Mm -hmm. Because it's becoming difficult for them to have all their water bodies have been destroyed. So they are depending now on such a water, purified water from other parts of the region. That is where we have gotten to.